Yo everyone and happy new year. It's 2015 and this is going to be my first review that I've done for the year. The last one that I put up was actually filmed uh, around Christmas and I just hadn't had a chance to upload it but today the review is going to be um, a requested one especially for my followers on Instagram who I believe are also subscribers or maybe subscribers of mine on here and it's about a new foundation which I showed on there over a week ago now which I recently purchased which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place uh, foundation and I know that uh, it's been out for like forever I've just never actually got around to buying it I've heard so many great things about it then I've also heard so many bad things about it so I've always been kind of on the fence shall I get it shall I not get it and then I thought you know what I want to make up my own mind let me buy it myself now as I said I know this foundation's obviously been around like forever um and so I'm only going to speak about it from my point of view and my experience now as far as I'm aware that they have changed some of the colors around here and there but there are altogether about 30 shades and they range from cool to warm to neutral shades so again if you've got more pink to your skin more yellow to your skin or more beige to your skin and very um, yellow toned I've got a very very high coverage of yellow in my skin so it's always important to me that to get something which has not got any beige in it and I need something which has got a lot of yellow so that is where this shade came in which is the shade cashew and it's 3w2 and this is what I matched myself with I bought this from Debenhams I went to the counter, the girl tried to talk me into something else, I never pay attention to them because to me they're not makeup artists, they're sales assistants and they can never advise me in the right kind of way and at the end of the day you're the one who's parting with your money, if you're not happy with it then you shouldn't really be buying it and the only one you should be blaming when you leave that place is yourself if you've got the right colour or the wrong colour. I had done a little bit of research online, I'm a MAC NC40 so I am very much um, medium skin toned. And Cashew, I believe, is one of the newer shades. Now, when I first kind of tried it out on my hand, uh, I was like, oh my god, it's very, very, like, yellowy orange, and it's not going to look right. Lo and behold, applied it to my face, and it blended in amazingly. There was another shade there called Tawny, which I think is 3W1, which is the one shade up. That is too light for my skin. I think that will be more perfect for people who are, like, NC35. Now, I'll be honest with you, one of the reasons I've never bothered to try this is the name has always put me off. Double wear, stay in place, to me sounds heavy, cakey, thick, and that's one of the reasons, one of the main reasons I've never really bothered to try it. But then I suppose they are trying to say that it is really, really good and long wearing and long lasting. Now, my experience with it so far has been excellent. I think this is an amazing foundation and this is definitely going to be joining my Holy Grail foundation collection, selection that I've got. And what I'm going to do now, this is the box that it comes in. Pretty standard looking box. And it's an SPF 10... And let's see, it is the standard 30ml 1 fluid ounces. I'm going to read what they claim, what they state, and then obviously um, interject with my own opinions and what I think. Double wear, stay in place, make up SPF 10 for all skin types. This remarkably, this remarkable lasting yet lightweight makeup wears comfortably up to 15 hours, even in high humidity. Won't smudge or come off on clothes. Oil free, fragrance free, non acidogenic dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested <laughs> as they have said it is lightweight lightweight now to me sounds a bit like it's not going to give me full coverage but this one is definitely a medium coverage foundation with the chance to build it up to make it more um heavier coverage so if you've got certain areas on your face that you want to give a little bit more extra coverage you can layer it on twice this whole face that I've got on right now is one layer and then I always put a tiny little bit extra on my cheeks because that's where I've got a little bit extra scarring so that's what I've been doing it's uh, definitely a lightweight kind of light feeling foundation it's a dream to apply. It doesn't smell like anything, even though recently, to be fair, I've had cold and all my allergies are all over the place, so half the time I can't even smell. But I've not been able to really smell anything coming from this. And it comes in a very heavy-duty kind of um, bottle. The only thing that I hate is this. Excuse the chip nails, they're always chipped, aren't they? <laughs> I hate this bottle. The amount of foundation that I've wasted so far is unreal because it very easily kind of pours out. You can close oh my god 
it very easily pours out and it's very very easy to waste so I would hope that they would eventually repackage these and come out with a better kind of pump sort of thing or something that will actually ease the amount that comes out so as I was just showing you there <sighs> luckily this is only mine so we're going to kind of tip this back in whoa looks like that as you can see it's thick but it's not too thick and it's not really really very very runny it blends in beautifully and I've just applied it very lightly so that's why you can still see my beauty spot but my other beauty spot's kind of hidden so it gives yeah and it just has a kind of a medicinal sort of smell but that's not a really obvious smell so any of you go like that like I just did obviously so it gives a really nice a very smooth and even coverage it's not I'd say it's got a kind of a satin finish to it it doesn't leave a tacky feel to the skin once I've applied it my face actually feels like my own skin like it has that natural dewiness but not any kind of shimmer or shine and that's one of the things I love about this to be fair and I'll be fair to you guys I've not actually worn this to work yet when I wear it to work tomorrow because I'm back after my two weeks holiday break like a lot of people are back to work but school tomorrow that will be the proper test and I will update you guys later on at some point but so far how long I've worn it maximum eight or nine hours in a day and it has remained looking flawless I haven't actually even got shiny and even when I felt my face getting really really hot the most I have is a slight sheen but that actually looks it looked really nice. It was like a nice sheen. It wasn't anything that looked like, oh my God, she's greasy and she needs to blot her face. Another thing that I love about this, a lot of foundation, uh, a lot of companies, sorry, always say, oh yeah, don't rub off. Yeah, no, you can kiss, you can hug, you can do this, you can that. And in the adverts, you show the woman wiping her makeup across her man's collar or whatever it is, and it stays in place. Yeah, all liars. This one, on the other hand, I couldn't believe it. I caught a cold about two days before New Year's, luckily it's pretty much gone, I got rid of it quite quickly, I, and, and as I've said, I suffer from a lot of allergies, so I sneeze a lot, I'm always like, like that, and I'm always blowing my nose, this area itself, the foundation stayed, I looked at the tissue afterwards, and normally it'll be covered in like, orangey, browny looking makeup, by the way, TMI, and, um, but the makeup will always come off, now in this instant, the makeup didn't, maybe I'd see a tiny bit of foundation on the tissue, but that's it, and I couldn't believe it, that just, in my mind, went, wow, you know, it really does cling to the skin, and does not come off, and because once it dries down, and it dries down to a nice kind of satiny sort of finish, you don't even really need to powder it, whereas a lot of other foundations, you do need to powder it, because what it does is it reduces a little bit of the shine that the foundation has left, especially if it's still kind of wet, and if that's the way it tends to dry down on your skin, whereas this one, you really don't need to powder it, even though I do just because I do it out of habit and it's like psychological, I have to powder my foundation. But with this one, it just does not rub off and that is what is so, so great about it. This foundation, unlike a lot of other foundations, it doesn't move around on your face, it doesn't oxidize, it doesn't become patchy, it just stays looking fresh. So when I first put it on, earlier on in the day, to later on in the evening if I have a look at my makeup oh half my lipstick's all eaten off or whatever it is and I've smudged my eyeliner or whatever but the foundation is still there the base still looks fresh it looks amazing it looks like it's just been freshly applied and that's another reason why this foundation deserves really really top marks now I know there are lots of people out there that have similar problems with this foundation like they do with the MAC um, Studio Fix in that it breaks them out it has not broken me out at all I've got one spot, but I think that's from me fiddling with my ears and stuff. I'm a face fiddler, and that's why I tend to get spots, but it's not broken me out at all. Plus, I know it's got an SPF 10, and one of the biggest gripes that people have with this foundation is that it shows a white cast when doing a flash photography. Now, I'll be honest with you, I take my own selfies, but I don't use a flash. I tend to just use natural light, and I've not actually used it yet to test that sort of thing out. So I really can't comment on that. For day-to-day -day wear, if you know you're not going to have your photograph taken, we don't take photographs of ourselves every single day with flash photography, like professional going out kind of photos. So for everyday kind of wear, definitely. these This foundation is perfect for people who work as well, who are like me, put their makeup on at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. They're not taking it off till 8, 9 o'clock at night after work, after they've gone out, after they've met their friends, after they've done this and that and whatever and it's still on their face. This covers up all redness. When I was trying it on in the store, I saw it covered up all the redness on my cheeks, and immediately I was like, wow, so you don't even need to use concealer. I don't use concealer on the rest of my face when I'm using this foundation. The only concealer I use is my under eye concealer. So yes, 
So yeah, I think that's it really. Fabulous, fabulous foundation. Highly, highly recommend it. I'll give it a nine out of 10 purely because of the packaging because I am gonna end up going through this a lot quicker because of the fact that it wastes so easily because there is no pump or nothing to control the amount of liquid that comes out of the top. So that is my review on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup Foundation. I hope you enjoyed my review and if you've got any more questions or wanna know anything else, feel free to ask me below. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing new year and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.